Hello and welcome to Healing Womanhood. I'm Saffron and all this month we're going to be looking at menopause. So this is a huge topic that we're going to come back to again and again. And I would first like to acknowledge that I know not all women are going to experience menopause. Some people who aren't women are going to experience menopause. So just take what you want from this, take what feels relevant and leave what doesn't. I'd encourage you to watch the videos anyway because we're going to talk about things around ageing which happens to all of us hopefully. Um, so see, see what's relevant, see what isn't and I would love to hear how that goes for you particularly if you're someone that doesn't necessarily feel they're going to experience menopause. So we're going to begin our exploration with rewriting the narrative. We get a not very great narrative around menopause and what that means so we're going to tap today on knowing our worth and then as time goes on we're going to look at fears around menopause we're going to look at the actual challenges that we may or may not experience when we get there or if you're already there and then we're going to end in our last week with shame and embarrassment around menopause and we're going to move through those feelings and into a beautiful empowered feeling of becoming a valued elder of the community with all the wisdom and power that that brings so we're going to start today by reflecting on what you've learned to believe about menopause what has culture told you about menopause and maybe you don't really believe this but maybe it's gone in on some level maybe you're seeing these messages all over the place of frazzled confused old women who can't get anything done and looking really drab and not looking very joyful we get lots of messages about kind of becoming irrelevant about losing our power so I just want you to focus for a moment on any of those messages that have come through for you and we're going to tap on those feelings that that brings up and then we're going to tap into knowing our worth, knowing our value, knowing that our value only goes up and up as we age. So when you're ready we're going to begin tapping and if you haven't tapped with me before all you need to do is tap where I'm tapping and repeat what I'm saying. So even though I've received some not very positive messages about what menopause will bring. And some of those messages might have gone in and I might have started to believe them. And I choose to love and accept myself exactly as I am. Even though society has told me that my value goes right down when I hit menopause. That I'm no longer of worth. I choose to love and accept all of myself. Even the part that might believe that a little bit. Even though I'm surrounded by messages about what it means to be a menopausal woman and how that affects me and the way that I'm perceived in the world, I choose to love and accept all of myself exactly as I am. I'm going to the eyebrow. I've been told certain things about menopause. I've been told certain things about who I'll be or who I am and you can just adjust future or present regarding whether or not you're in menopause or even past if you're past the menopause. I've received a lot of unhelpful information. And my logical brain knows that it's not true. My logical brain knows that I'm valuable. 
my logical brain knows that I'm relevant. But there might be a little part of me. Deep down in my subconscious. That's believed these messages. Believe that I won't be relevant. Believe that I'll be scatty and confused. Believe that I won't be able to get anything done. That I'll just be a drab old woman. Fanning myself in the corner. While everyone else gets on with their work. These are the messages that society has given me. And part of me knows that's completely ridiculous. And I'm ready to let the rest of me know that too. There are people who gain something by sending out these messages. People who make anti-aging creams. Maybe people who make HRT. Lots of people have something to gain by making me believe this. By making me accept this image of myself. And maybe that's as far as this image goes. Maybe this stereotype was created solely for profit. It certainly wasn't created for me. It's definitely not serving me. And I'm ready to recognise how laughably ridiculous it is. I know plenty of other menopausal women who don't fit that image at all. Who are just as active, productive, creative, wonderful as they ever were. And plenty more who are doing even better. All those menopausal women who are thriving with age, thriving through menopause, breaking the stereotypes, recognising their value. I'm ready to be one of those women now. Or whenever I reach menopause. I'm ready to be powerful. I'm ready to be creative and free. I'm ready to recognise all of the joys of getting older. All of the wonderful things that brings. And I'm letting go of these old, old images that were never real in the first place. These images that were created just for someone's profit, that never had anything to do with me. Embracing a new image of what it means to be a menopausal woman, of what it means to be postmenopausal of what it means to be perimenopausal. Ready to know in every cell of my body that I can thrive through all of these stages. That I don't need to conform to a stereotype. I have no desire to be that person. 
So I'm creating the image of who I do want to be. That woman is powerful. That woman is courageous and creative. That woman gets things done. That woman looks after herself really, really beautifully. That woman recognises that the pressure's off. That this is a time for joy. That woman embraces life in all of its colour and complexity. That's what menopause means to me. A woman who does what she wants. A woman who breaks down barriers. A woman who is powerful and valued. A woman who is kind and gentle to herself and others. A woman who's in the most vibrant stage of her life. That woman is me. And when you're ready, you can stop tapping and take a deep breath. So that should have felt really amazing, no matter what stage you're at, whether your menopause is years away, whether you're just approaching it, whether you're in the middle of it, whether it's been and gone. Hopefully that felt fantastic to everybody. Um, I'd love to know how that felt for you and what came up for you, uh, what else you would like to explore. The second part of today's video is going to be a visit to the past. So we're going to go back to the times when we've heard messages about menopause. The first time that we heard what menopause was and then other times when we've learnt different things. Particularly in our younger years when we've been forming our ideas of the world, forming our beliefs. Um, but it can also be later than that as well. It can be quite recent. And you might not have specific ideas around this. You might not have a specific memory. It might just be that kind of general cultural attitude that's sort of seeped in there. Um, so we're going to make our next hypnosis. It's going to be a beautiful meditation um, suitable for, for all of that. So that's going to be over on the Patreon membership and I would love it if you could join me over there if you aren't there already. We have some really lovely deep dives on there, deep dives into all of the videos that are on the YouTube channel. We've got a deeper version on Patreon. So if you want to do some really transformative work, that is the place to be. And if not, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.